in the following video we're going to show you how to connect the how to change the panel the operator panel screen using your plc so this is useful in case that uh, something happened like a, an alarm or something that the, that the operator operator needs to to be aware of you can change the the operator panel screen to a different uh, to a different screen and just use using your plc so le let me show you how how to do that so first of all we're going to open op20 and the op20 and uh, I, I already may, made this uh, setup which uh, has a uh, four different uh, screens the screen number one is the home screen screen uh, 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 screen number two is the inputs three is the outputs and four is the alarms so we want to use the plc to change through any of those uh, four different uh, uh, screens so in order to do that we're going to go to tools and get, then go to set op series and the thing that we're interesting is to uh, original you're, you're going to have it like that so yes click here auto change display screen then you're going you're going to uh, to use the the value d0 or whichever register that you want to assign you can assign any but right now we're going to to work with d0 so d0 depending of the value of d0 this zero, zero is going to be the screen number that we're going to that is the, the that the operate panel is going to display. So if this zero is equal to to one, the home screen is going to be shown on the operate panel. If it's equal to two, the inputs equal to three, the outputs and equal equal to four is going the operate panel is going to change to the alarms uh, screen. Uh, very good and and the plc station number i know for sure that my plc station number is a uh, number two uh, yours may may be different so right now i'm going to connect into to a plc with the number two okay and i'm going to click okay very well and now i'm going to go open my camera and we're going to download uh, this program. Let me change this to alarms. There you go. Let me change this and let, I will download it. Okay, so sorry about that. Uh, I haven't connected my operate panel to the, my PLC. Okay. Okay, so it's downloaded. Very good. So now I'm going to disconnect the operate panel from the my computer. I'm going to connect my uh, RS485 cable that connects to the uh, port um, RS485 of my PLC, which is this one. And this uh, other port, the R2, uh, R2, uh, RS232 port is the one connected to my computer and we're going to use this port to control the, the PLC. Okay. Very good. Now I'm going to open ISP soft. So we have ISP software running. Let me zoom out. Okay. So we have uh, ISP soft uh, running right now. Uh, and we have uh, the we established the, the connection and we're online so now i'm going to to go to the monitor table and i'm just going to change the value of d0 so change present value and we're going to to change it to uh, let's start with one one is the home screen so i change it to one and the home screen is shown, being shown. Now I'm going to change it to two, 
and the input screen is going to be shown. Three, the outputs, and four, the alarms. Okay. So this way you can create a, a program in your PLC that in case that, that something happened, like an alarm some, or something is, is too hot, you can automatically change your, the, the, the operator panel screen to the alarms, to an alarm screen. And that will be, that way the, the operator will, will know that something happened or that needed, he needs to interfere or do some, some, something else. And you you can use uh, that's pretty useful uh, the, if you can use it in in, in your uh, project, and that's that's pretty much it for for today. Thank you so much for for watching. Remember to to subscribe if you haven't done so. And once again, if you know someone that can benefit from this video, you can share share this uh, video or my 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 channel. Uh, th thank you so 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 much for for watching. <laughs>